You're watching New Stock Markets with Glencore nosediving on debt woes. Other big miners struggling with structural issues affecting the sector as a whole. Plus concerns that a Chinese slowdown could spark a wider emerging markets crisis and send demand for commodities tumbling. Many investors are wondering when or indeed if the mining sector will turn. I'm joined by John Mayer, mining analyst and partner at SP Angel. Well, let's start with the big miners. What's going on with Glencore? Well, Glencore has been massively sold. A lot of shorting going on there. And I think, you know, driven by stories of debt problems within the marketplace. And one can say where there's, where there's smoke, there's fire. But I think in this case, it's, it's more smoke than fire. And I think uh, it's overdone. But 30% drop in a day after uh, an analyst note from an investment bank saying that the shares were virtually worthless. We've got to look at the detail of these things. I don't think those shares are worthless. Those shares could be worthless under a scenario of metals prices remaining where they are now for the next, for, for a number of years. We think that prices are definitely under pressure, but we think there'll also be a, a recovery within the next year or so, probably, uh, probably in six months' time. Uh, and that, that's a, perhaps a slightly cautious approach. We know things are tough in China. We know that construction projects are stalled, infrastructure projects are delayed, they're going through a big situation where they're cleaning up corruption, they are reorientating their economy towards a, a more uh, consumption-led domestic economony. And, uh, and just at the moment, they're exporting rather more, which is hurting the rest of the world. And of course, at the same time, the US dollar has been rising. So that's causing other structural issues around the world. The Indian central banks mm -hmm. just drop rates by half a percent. So there's a lot going on. So are investors likely to dump resources stocks at, at current levels? Well, what we've seen is the Saudi Arabian uh, sovereign wealth fund, in effect, dr uh, dumping uh, their units of BlackRock and other funds. That's caused selling in, in Glencore. Um, and, and, but that is an op that's creating an opportunity for, for people that aren't, that, that aren't forced to, to sell. So it won't just be Saudi Arabia. It will be other Middle Eastern sovereign wealth funds looking to cover the lower incomes from oil and gas, uh, the cost of, of conflict within the region. And of course, they've got, a, they've got high cost bases to maintain. They need to keep the people within those nations reasonably happy. And you do that by dishing money out. So um, while they're selling, we're buying. Let's talk about a couple of the, the other big miners, because they're, they're being hit for very different reasons, aren't they? Different stories, different outlooks. Very definitely. We look at BHP. It's almost a perfect storm against them. They're big into iron ore, big into copper, big into oil and gas. All those commodities are down. Iron ore is not picking up in a hurry because Chinese steel has, I won't say it's ground to a halt, but its growth has, has slowed. It's probably gone negative, actually. Oil and gas is, is clearly lower, and, and copper prices are low, although they're recovering again today. So that's not good for them. Anglo-American, again, another sorry story, and, and, and a bad performer. People aren't focusing on it, but a lot of problems in South Africa, uh, problems with power uh, availability, problems with unions and, and labor, problems with uh, diamond pricing, gold pricing, all of those things. I'd much rather own Glencore than BHP or, or Anglo-American. But only time's going to tell, I'm afraid. You say time's going to tell. What do you think the time frame is then? When well, might things pick up for this sector? Or is it, is, is it a case of sitting tight? Well, I think sit tight. There, there is an op my view is there's an opportunity with Glencore stock price, stocks price now. Um, but I think it's going to be a rough few months. There's no doubt about that. There's going to be some difficult results coming out uh, for, the, for the year end. Uh, but after that, we should be off to the races. So what's the time to buy? Well, I'm not sure I'll be buying the, sec the whole sector just yet, but there are key opportunities within it. And for brave investors, Glencore and some of the smaller guys uh, are very attractive levels. So there is some opportunity out there, but you need to cherry pick oh, the sure sector. John Meyer from yeah. SP Angel, thanks ever so much. Thank you. Thank you.